Howdy y'all, it's Kate here from The Lifestyle Lady. How are you doing today? Um, before I shoot straight into today's video, I wanted to firstly just point out my lipstick, which for those of you who've had the chance or the opportunity to see my September Birch Box reveal, will know that I was telling you about this product, the Mali, the Mali, well, it calls itself a lip liner, primer, lipstick, lip better, lip, 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 what about lip gloss, all in one, and it was in the colour Cherry Blossom. And I was telling people yesterday, or it probably won't go up yesterday, so it'll probably go up, This they'll probably be a few days apart, but this is, basically, this is the colour. For me, I'm a little bit non-committal about it. It's okay for every day. If you saw me in the grocery store, if you saw me in the grocery store with any form of lip product, it's a good day, <laughs> so I'm joking. This uh, kind of, well, for me it's not colourful enough, it's not pink enough, it's not strong enough, but that's probably because it takes a while to get used to nuder, nuder shades. I think stronger lips look better on me, but that's probably because it's what I'm used to. So if you think it looks okay, pass me a comment. If you think it looks diabolical, you might agree with me, uh, pass me a comment. Anyway. That's what that was. So today I wanted to talk about a different cosmetics range. I think uh, I've probably told you before I've always liked cosmetics, I've always liked makeup. Um, but it's like anything, there's so much to choose from, there's so many things to try, there's so many different brands. And I don't know if you're like me, but I don't want to go into a drugstore or Sephora or a departmental store or in their cosmetic, cosmetic counter and spend a fortune and you know particularly I think in um, de departmental stores or you know you go to the cosmetics counters there's all they all have their in they're all branded individually there's the makeup artists with their kind of aprons on with all the brushes and it, and it can be quite a scary thing and if you if you're anything like me you kind of get coerced by a brand, they sort of try and sell you everything, which is their job, which is fine. And then you end up spending a lot of money on stuff and you think, oh God, why didn't they do stuff in trial size? It's always been a it's always been a bit of a thing for me that I just want to be able to try try a bit like Birchbox, trial sizes of products to see one, whether it agrees with my skin type, two, whether I like it, whether it's a brand I respond well to. And um I was really pleased when, I don't know, I want to say probably a little over a month ago, I went to my local Ulta, so for those in the United Kingdom, sort of like a Boots or a bit like Sephora, and uh, I was waiting to, I was waiting, I was buying shampoo or something I think, and I was in the queue waiting to check out and looking at those lovely, it's like I'm like a kid in a candy store, you know, the little things they do by the tills where everything's sort of small and trial size and give it a go. and. That's my favourite part of Sephora and my favourite part of Ulta is all those like small things because I think you sort of get coerced into buying small little things and thinking, oh, it's not too much, I'll give it a try and then, you know, you've spent 50 bucks before you realise I saw a Mr. Up. So it happened to me. Uh, I got bitten by the try me, try me, try me, come, come, come. And uh, this time it happened by a brand called Too Faced. Now... Uh, some of the blogs I read, vloggers, bloggers, not sure the correct term, YouTubers, they all tell me that Too Faced is a great brand. And I actually, uh, a little bit like some of the other brands like NARS, I've never tried anything by them. And I wanted to, but I didn't want to go and fork out a lot of money as I've already explained. So I saw this kit. And I thought, hmm, I'm gonna give it a try. Packaging's quite sweet, it's kind of kitschy, which maybe it doesn't tend, to, it doesn't appeal to my sophisticated kind of side, but I thought, oh, okay, I'll give it a go, because I want to try it. And it says Industry Insider's top four favourites, probably I assume from the Too Faced brand. So I thought, well, you know, come on. They're small and included in this kit, and I will put in, in, in this vlog somehow how much it cost me, was a chocolate soil matte bronzer, uh, the Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer, the Better Than Sex <laughs> Mascara, so these are beautiful terms, and La Creme Colour Drenched Lip Colour in Naked Dolly. Mm, now there's one for the mind, Naked 
Dolly. Well, I don't know who comes up with these names, but uh, it's probably not designed for people like me. Probably for younger ladies. Anyway, and some aside. So I thought I'd very quickly talk you through what I got, what I think, whether I like it or I don't. So here's a confession. I am a Park Avenue princess tart bronzer lover. Because of my complexion, my hair colour, my skin type, I really like it. It's not heavy bronzer. That's by Tarte. So I'm not a huge contourist. I do a little bit of it to try and slim the face up. I need as much help as I can get. But uh, I was a little bit disappointed because in this in this kit, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil uh, bronzer is in a medium to deep, which is not really a thing I'd go for. It, it's a fairly healthy sized trial size to be honest but let me give you a the package doesn't blow me away but again it's not horrendously expensive and I can't compare it because I don't have the full size but it's quite a dark color I'm now just so you can see now granted this is just plainly on my hand I don't know if you can see I've got to get better at this That's the colour swatch. To me, that's just too dark. If I held, I shouldn't do this because I'm going to kill myself when I see myself on video later. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> this is not professional. That is why I don't wear it. It's too much for me. Too dark. And I was quite surprised that it was medium deep. I wish they kind of either didn't have it in the pack or, oh now all I can see is my left cheek. Oh, lovely, I look kind of, it's the closest I'll ever look to Kim Kardashian. But um, I don't know, maybe with a bit of work I could blend it down and make it work. Maybe I'll try that and do a video or a picture of it. Anyway, that put me off a little bit because I'm, I'm just, I'm always a girl, I'm a safety girl. I like to play it safe, so I like it slightly lighter. But if you like your bronzer, meaty bronze, you know, kind of on the darker tones. This kit's going to suit you superbly. It's a sort of shame that they don't, that's the only variation they don't offer. They don't offer sort of medium light. I'd have liked that. Can you see, it? it's really quite bold on my face. Goodness me, I'm looking good. Anyway, next in the pack. Now, what does it say? Let me just tell you what it says about the bronzer very, very quickly. It says, Love, 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 the chocolate solar bronzer. It's the only power contour I use. So maybe that's my problem. Maybe the Park Avenue Princess isn't strong enough. I'll give it a go sometime, add it to my list. The next thing in the box was the True Faced Shadow Endurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. Now, as an aside, I think I've already told you I, I'm a big fan of the Urban Decay, or I've always used, goodness, it's gonna bug me, so I'm so sorry. The, <laughs> my face, I don't care, the Urban, Decay um, eyelid primer I'd always used. And then, was it last month or the month before in Birchbox, I got the Benefit Air Patrol uh, primer for eyelids. And I'm in love with that. That's this, which is really kind of showing you a different brand. Yeah, I really like this. I don't really want to use it, but I really liked, I particularly like this. So this and the Urban Decay was what it was competing against. And I don't know, I don't know whether, whether it's the style of it, whether it's because it's a trial size, it's very, let me show you. I'm afraid my hand's dirty from the, but let's try here. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna give it a shake, and then I'm gonna run it along. So it's not quite so watery today, and it kind of, it's working better, that's sod's law. I don't know, it's a very sort of milky, slightly, kind of skin, nudie skin. I don't even know if you can see it's such a good color, color. I don't think you can really tell that, I'm so sorry. Let me see if I move my light, whether you can see it. I don't think you can, which means it's a very good color to my crease. But I don't know, I don't know how I can describe it, but to me, it left my lids a little greasy and I don't think it works as well as the Air Patrol by Benefit or the Urban Decay ones I've used, both the tinted and non-tinted Urban Decay ones, but it wasn't hor it's not horrible, but it's not like my fave, 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 fave to die fave, so I think what I will do is, you I will use it, I'll use this up, but it'll be even more for every day. Yeah, it's not, I don't know, I wasn't in love with this. 
The next was, um, let me just see what it says in the box about it. Um, as a makeup artist and a TV personality, I know this is by Jeannie Mai, you probably know who that is. A makeup artist and TV personality, I know I'm all about making major eye contact. Oh yeah. So I need my eyeshadow to stay in place all day and into the night, of course. Shadow endurance has upped my confidence by keeping my colour true. Now if only it could add five inches to my height, I'd be set. So I don't have the problem with the five inches of height, but I don't know. Perhaps it works better for her eyelids. Maybe it's worth giving a try, it just might be me. It doesn't work too well with. So next thing I tried was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now, one thing I love is it's a trial size mascara. Who doesn't love one of these gym bags, makeup bags, you know, slip it in your handbag, whatever your thing is. I like the smaller size. And one thing I also was telling you, I, was, I think I said before in a vlog, I'm always looking for good mascaras. And in fact, I found a really good drugstore one, which I will talk about in another in another vlog, which is not expensive and oh, I think pretty, pretty damn perfect. But um, I'd heard a lot of good things about this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I like the packaging, the sort of softy pink, metallic pink is quite sweet. You open it up and it has one meaty, meaty wand. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. If I put this down for a second, sorry, and hold it up against my hand, it's one meaty, meaty, mighty, meaty, master and uh, it does what it says in the tin really it's uh, one hell of an impactive mascara the thing I didn't like so much is that it left me quite clumpy my eyelashes are quite close together and quite fine and I found that this was a it made big impact but I was going through again afterwards with like a spoolie to just smooth it out but it might be because I'm not used to that very bold look but it did, it, it was pretty good, so uh, I should definitely be using it. I just, as I said to you a moment ago, it's a little bit on the clumpier side for me, but um, it didn't flake, so this is a pretty damn good mascara. It's got very good reviews, and rightly so. So that will definitely be going in my travel kit or my makeup bag for a little L to destroy with everything else. So uh, let me just check again on the packaging. This lady says, I love my better than I love my better than sex mascara. In only one to three coats, the amazing formula transforms your lashes from a daily dramatic look by giving each lash volume a length for full false lash effect. Whether I have five or thirty minutes, I'll always make time to put on this mascara because it gives you that wow factor we all love. Well, we all like to look like that. I, I like a good mascara. It certainly does what it does and says on the tin, as I mentioned earlier. I am um, I'd say it was the best, it's the best thing in the kit. So, as you know, I put this Mali lipstick on to go to tell you about that Mali product. So what I'm gonna do now, because I'm the consummate professional, is take this off and I'm gonna try the lipstick from Too Faced that came in the kit. So you can. I'm taking it off with my cellar water, in case you were asking. And I'm using you this okay now I'm gonna try and add it without a mirror and I don't have a mirror in here which is goodness me I'm professional I got no lip liner no this is a lipstick naked dolly no I will hold it up in my hand as well, so you can see. I'm gonna do it on this hand because there's no product on this hand. Now this is what I would call Naked Dolly. It's quite a good name because it's so nude. It's kind of, if I hold it up there, it, it looks slightly pinker there against my sort of white skin, very white skin tone, but it's it really is like that sort of pinky white kind of skin. And it really looks like I've got nothing on my lips. It's very, it's very nourishing. I'm always doing this when I just have my lipstick, so I'm so sorry. But again, even worse than Mali, I'm looking at myself in the reader, and I'm thinking, "Ooh, goodness me, I look so pale." There's nowhere near enough colour, but um, the formulation is quite nice. 
it's kind of balmy. Not balmy as in crazy, balmy as in nourishing and God, how annoying to have hear that sound. So it says La Creme Color Drench Lip Color. La Creme is my go-to favorite lipstick because it's creamy, pigmented, and buttery smooth. Buttery is a good word. My lips become the loveliest color and look kissably plush. I think I look like, I have no lips. Mr. L would not like this and I don't like it. I think I'm gonna say something very controversial. I think very nude lipsticks can look very aging. So I, I think this ages me, but there you go. Anyway, so they were, I will tell you what the price was in the blog somehow, but that was my experience of Too Faced. Can't say I was blown away. Can't say there was anything in there, even the mascara that I think, yes, loved it. Where has this been all my life? I've missed it. So Too Faced, mm, they've got a new foundation out, which is an oil fee formulation which is medium to heavy coverage. I think it's called Born Free or something. I will correct myself if I'm in, I will correct myself if I'm wrong somehow on this vlog, uh, which everyone is like loving. But can't say I was totally blown away by Too Faced. I'm not saying I wouldn't try any of their stuff again, but it kind of gets a lifestyle lady, com si, com sa, kind of not really feeling it. It's not gonna take a place amongst one of my favorite brands but as I said to you earlier at the beginning of the vlog it's always good to give a brand a try try something new always open to new ideas new new things why not life's a journey anyway I've talked for far too long about this Too Faced I've got to get this horrible lipstick off my lips before I screech anyway uh thanks for thanks for watching uh if you've got anything to say please pass me a comment love to hear from you you can contact me on all forms of social media you can follow me on the blog there's a follow tab you can type your email in on the blog love to see you thanks for watching to toughen up